Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video from Propulsion Swimming. I'm Dan, and I'm going to be taking you through the Swim England Learn to Swim program. This week, we're concentrating on stage 7. Stage 7 focuses on developing a quality stroke technique in all four swimming strokes, as well as building stamina and improving diving skills. By the end of this stage, swimmers will be able to swim 25 metres of all four strokes to Swim England's expected standards. They'll also be able to complete a continuous 100 metre swim. So let's take a look at all of the outcomes needed to complete your stage 7. Outcome number one is to push and glide and swim 25 meters backstroke. For this outcome, swimmers need to start from a push and glide and swim 25 meters of backstroke, making sure their leg kick and arm pull are working together in unison. Outcome number two is to push and glide and swim 25 meters front crawl. Swimmers will have to start from a push and glide and swim 25 meters of front crawl, making sure they breathe correctly with their arms and legs extending and working well together. Outcome number three is to push and glide and swim 25 meters breaststroke. For this outcome, swimmers will need to be able to perform a push and glide and swim 25 meters of breaststroke, making sure that their stroke is long and extended. The more streamlined you are when swimming breaststroke, the easier it is. So keeping a swimmer's arms tight to their head when they're gliding is very important. Outcome number four is to push and glide and swim 25 meters butterfly. For this outcome, swimmers will need to perform a push and glide and swim 25 meters of butterfly, making sure their stroke timing is correct. This means that their kick, pull and breathing need to be at the right time so their stroke has a rhythm and efficiency. Outcome number five is to perform a movement sequence for a duration of one minute in a group of three or more. In this outcome, swimmers will need to demonstrate and incorporate a number of the following skills. Sculling, either head first or feet first. Rotation, whether it's a forward or backward somersault or a log roll. Floating, so this can include a star float on their front or back, a tuck float or creates their own float. And then finally, egg beater, which can either be moving or lifting one or both arms out of the water. Outcome number six is to perform a dive. For this outcome, swimmers have to perform a dive, whether that's sitting, kneeling or standing. The aim is to enter the water with their hands first, followed by their head, then their body, and then finally their legs and their feet. Outcome number seven is to push and glide and swim 50 meters continuously using only one stroke. Swimmers here will need to swim two lengths of a 25 meter pool using just one stroke without stopping at any part of the swim. They need to make sure that the stand of their stroke is just as high as the previous outcomes. Outcome number eight is to push and glide and swim 100 meters using a minimum of three different strokes. For this outcome, swimmers have to be able to swim four lengths of a 25 meter pool using three different strokes. For example, swimmers can swim two lengths of front crawl, one length of backstroke, and one length of breaststroke. They need to make sure that the standards of their strokes are high like in previous outcomes. The 100 meters needs to be performed continuously without stopping. Outcome number nine is to tread water using an egg beater action for 30 seconds. This outcome requires swimmers to tread water again for 30 seconds, but this time in an egg beater action. 
It's similar to the breaststroke leg kick movement, however egg beater is where swimmers use their legs alternately rather than simultaneously. And finally, outcome number 10 is to complete an obstacle course with their feet off the pool floor throughout. It requires swimmers to complete an obstacle course using a minimum of four objects. These objects can include picking up a brick, swimming through a hoop, picking up a sinker, or climbing over a big float. Thank you for watching this week's video from Propulsion Swimming. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like and please share it around with your friends and family whose kids are looking to complete their stage 7 outcomes. Make sure you subscribe to the Propulsion Swimming YouTube channel for more great swimming content. I've been Dan and I'll catch you on the next one.